tank, the free, you already know, you can fit in that and miss a word, then this resonates. If not, then hey, that's cool. It's not meant right now. And that doesn't necessarily meant forever. That just means it's not meant right now. All right, y'all? So real quick, I'm Chris. And right now you guys are checking out Edo. And look, I'm telling you right now, don't take that free spaghetti. I'm just going to say it now. Don't take the free spaghetti. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not even worth it. I'm telling you, actually, don't even take free any food. I'm being real. Don't take free nothing. What's up, y'all? If y'all checked out part one, this is part two. Don't take free nothing. Because after I got done with that video, I had to think about it. I was like, wait a minute. Not only do you not just want to take free spaghetti, but you don't want to take free cornbread. You want to take free collard greens. You don't want to take free ham hocks. Shit. Not burgers. Not even pork cutlets. Don't take free shit. I'm telling you. You got to understand. There's always a way for everything. All right, y'all. If y'all checked out part one, you already know. Spaghetti hides certain things that, let's just say, they utilize to win over men a lot. They use, they, they use that. And they only utilize that to win over men because financial, to have, you know, a constant residual. So that's what it is. So I'm telling you, there's nobody, this is a no holds bar. This goes for everything. This could be shit, old relationship, exes, baby mamas. This could be even sister or brother. I'm talking right now. Like, they could just be, if a sister wants money from a brother, she'll utilize tactics like this too. A grandma, hell, your mother. Don't. Do it. This is why you don't take the free shit. I'm telling you right now, you do not do it. If a person tries to give you free food, no. You take free cash though, but you don't take free food. You just don't eat anything free because nobody wants to nourish you. You have to understand that. Look at the last time you saw someone wanted to just feed into you and make you, you know, thick and big and powerful and sturdy. Just really look at that. Who wants you to be strong and confident? Not only strong and confident, but strong will and stand in your own. Who wants you to do that? I know. If you can think of people that, hey, I'll say eat all the food you want from them. But the people that don't fall in that category, then you got to understand that. I'm telling you, like, this was like, what's it called? A year ago. I was at the park, right? I'm working out. And this random lady walking up to people. And you know, this lady this is the type of, you know, I won't give in this because it don't, it, it, it don't matter. It was, let's just say some block needed to be utilized for her to give donations as such as she was, you know, preppy to that day, right? So <clears throat> the lady is walking around and she don't look like she's comfortable around in that neighborhood. It was just a bad neighborhood. I just liked the park because nobody went to that workout area. It had all the bars, everything I needed. I could hang upside down as long as I want to. Random people not coming by, stopping, and looking at you. It just, it just, it was, it was cool, right? So until this lady came, so she went to people's car. It's like, here, you want some free food? And it was like this other, you know, what I'm saying, carbon indigenous native. You know, what I'm saying he was like three over. I'm over. I'm just, you know, chilling, and you know, I'm just parked. You know, what I'm saying she, she go over and she like one car over for me, right? So I heard her, you know, say, hey, you want some free food? And he didn't even say nothing. Like, I heard nothing. I heard her only. She's like, you want some free food? And immediately, she comes over to mine, and I'm just getting ready to get out. Oh, no. Actually, I was working out outside of the car warming up. I was jump roping. Yeah, no, no, no. I wasn't even sitting in the car at this point. I was sitting at the car. But when she was went to his car, I was outside the car. I was working out. And so, you know, things are like this. I'm outside, son, you know what I'm saying? I'm just working out, stretching, getting prepped. Cause I don't want to go over to, you know what I'm saying? Stretch at the, you know what I'm saying? I do that at the car. So, and I keep all the stretching gear in the car. So I was cool. Cause you know, I ain't, try, I ain't trying to carry it out all over there. No, I ain't trying to do all that. So, uh, she come over to my car next. And I'm like, uh, I'm just working out. So I ain't trying to be bothered. And I'm trying to keep my pace up. I ain't trying to let my heart rate drop. So I'm like, no, I don't want that free shit. But she had big titties on. So I was like, I don't want that free shit. I don't want that food. What you mean? Shit, I don't want that. I was like, get out of here. I was like, you trying to give people free food, bro. You ain't look like you comfortable walking around outside. What you mean? I was just like, like, like clowning her. Like, so I was like, she was like, yeah. Yeah, my boyfriend. Well, she was like, yeah, my boyfriend works in the FBI. Yeah. And then she said, yeah, my ex-husband, 
yeah, and then, and then she tried to threaten to call her ex-husband when I was like, because she kept walking up the other, you know, carbon native indigenous folks, you know, trying to offer her, her food. She didn't go up to no Caucasians, no Asians, none of that. So I peep game and I'm outside working out. She only went up to the carbon people. So I'm like, what you doing? She trying to get food to all the carbon people. And I'm like, I'm like, we don't want that. Like you give a hundred dollars though, we'll take a hundred though. But we ain't gonna take none of that food. Like, what you mean? We try to get food anyway. Who who cooked it? You know what I'm saying? She's like, she's like, yeah. And then she started to get offensive or whatever like that. Like, my boyfriend or my ex-husband, he's an FBI and I'm gonna call him. I'm like, yeah, call him. You say he don't want you anyway. He got a new wife. So yeah, call him. He'll be like, yeah, yeah, thank you. Finally do do my job. I bet you were talking shit and now you're like, yeah. Uh-huh, honey, I'll be right there. You know he ain't showing up at all. You know what I'm saying? He's not showing up. This is an opportunity he's been waiting for. Scott, Scott free. Now he's he's Scott clear. He ain't trying to he ain't trying to get in, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? He's trying to live with his new wife and his children, you feel me? So but nobody was bothering her. She was just bothering everybody else, asking for the food. Trying to say, you want this free food? We was like, eventually, after like the fifth, sixth person, she walked down on the other side, and I just, you know what I'm saying, because she got on my eye view. But it was just funny to me. I'm working out, and I kind of, you see this lady, and she's like, it was burning for the sub. I take time trying to get away this free food. She was like, I got this free food. I'm about to give some native carbon indigenous folk, you know what I'm saying? I was like, look. Tom and Mrs. Uh, Sarah right there need that food right there. It look like they ain't ate. I'm telling you, need to get a little. She need to get a little, get a little junk on her trunk, everything. So I was like, what you want to give it to her? You know what I'm saying? I was going to say that. I thought it, but I didn't even say it though. But I do that now though. I say everything now. But I was going to say, why don't you give it to Tom and Mrs. Sarah right there? She needs a little junk on her trunk. You know what I'm saying? She was like, no. Uh, I, bet, I bet then it would have been different. I bet that. Goes to show you. Don't take free bunch and this goes from all perspectives that's just one of the occasions i saw it just opened my eyes i was like she's trying to give i was like you can just give us some money man actually it's like look man we don't like we eat that stuff like you can just give us twenty dollars each five people that's a hundred dollars total 120 and you'd be good you didn't have to say that we been, yeah thank you miss uh whatever your name is bye <laughs> miss big titty bye see she just gave us a 20 you know what i'm saying each you know what i'm saying 126 people you know what i'm saying she she harassed you know i'm saying she would have been cool I'm saying, isn't that harassment anyway trying to offer food to people? Isn't that like a criminal offense trying to give them laced food? I'm sure if they look under the microscope, that food had something in it. I'm going to show you. Don't take the free. All right, y'all. So if I stay tuned, y'all, Chris, yo, this is Eos, man. And we signing out until my next, yo.